In 1993, the premises were bought by the tenant's house, Uppsala Hem, and were later converted into apartments. The most outstanding of all the current and future resources in Hågeby are the nature and recreational areas. How can we preserve all this? How can we develop a tradition of maintenance among the inhabitants so that its beauty may enrich future generations? Hågeby village possesses great natural and recreational resources. Many unusual species and biotopes are found here. Environmental solutions and care for nature are not sufficient to create a sustainable habitation. Daily life must also function simply and practically. In Hågeby, transportation, telecommunication and local services are being developed in order to facilitate environmental life. Motorized mobility is one of the blessed inventions in the human world. At the very same time, it constitutes maybe the outstandingly greatest environmental challenges of all. Transportation creates severe environmental and health problems in modern cities. A key issue in Hågeby village concerns buses, bicycles and cars. City bus lines run currently every half hour to the city centre. It's also an easy bike ride to other sub-centres of the city. To rent a bike is now becoming possible for guests and residents. The first car cooperation system has recently started with a carpool with several sharing neighbours. Those participating in the experiment will contribute to a better environment, but will also experience improvements in their own private economy. The costs are roughly cut to the half. We would not have to have a good car if we were willing to buy it ourselves. But now we share the costs with others and it goes well. In order to preserve resources and environment, we must be able to communicate and to acquire knowledge. This can be done to a great extent on the neighbourhood scale. During the year of 2001, we hope that a local telephone system will gradually be introduced to complete the ordinary distant telephone network. This will result in cheaper neighbourhood calls. In order to develop sustainable living environments, the residents must be able to cooperate. This is valuable for handling occasional setbacks in the development of sustainable habitation. Most Hågeby residents have chosen their habitat for its environmental qualities. All residents in Hågeby have private yards as well as access to common outdoor and indoor areas, which are valuable assets for human interplay. The neighbourhood centre with its shops, offices and sports centre, as well as laundry facilities and storage premises, 
increase the opportunity for encounters between the residents of Hogeby. In the Eco Hamlet quarter, a small common house has been built for meetings, parties and celebrations. An increasing number of neighbourhood associations deepen the civil and social network in the area. In Hogeby village, the children can attend the local Waldorf school as well as a nearby municipal school. To catalyze and stimulate communication between residents, three strong social functions have been introduced in Hogeby. The residential host lubricates the communication and information flow between tenants. The neighborhood council is a communication forum where new information, events and visions may be exchanged and conflicts resolved. På den här plats där de här nya husen ska stå finns det spår av fyra husgrunder. Ett av husen beräknas vara 1500 år gammal. Det har samma mått som de nya parhusen, 7 gånger 25 meter. Moreover, the membership council of the Eco Hamlet is an important driving force for the sustainable development of the Hogeby community as a whole. There are also other important indirect social generators. For example, the food shop, the school, and various other sorts of networks and clubs. Hey, hey! Akta! Kolla! Hey, hey! hey. Vi samlar på Pokémon. Det är inne nu. Inne, inne. Pokémon. An important feature of sustainable habitats is neighborhood play, sports and games. Play areas for the youngest residents in Hogeby are connected to the private yards. A number of common play areas have also been developed. A football field and an ice skating rink remain from earlier activities in Hogeby. There is also a common green for the celebration of midsummer and play, as well as for outdoor meetings.